Do you own an Apple product? If so, and you'd like to protect your investment, we might have something for you from SPEC. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, and seated next to me is uh, this wonderful, beautiful lady who happens to be my sister, Miss Melanie Balliser. Hello, Melanie. Hello. Thanks for having me on. Uh, you may have, uh, remember Melanie from a few episodes back. She's been our co-host on and off, along with her puppy, Dolce. Now, uh, Dolce actually has more hits on YouTube than I do, so <laughs> I, I am still very jealous. But hey, let's get on to the tech. Now, I've brought in my sister because, as some of you who have read the tech stop may know, I'm not the biggest fan of Apple or anything Apple-y or the dog's licking me again. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's not because I don't like Apple. I mean, I, I think Apple puts out some wonderful technology. They've got a great fashion sense. It's just I've never really been a fan. So I wanted someone to come in who is a fan of Apple products to, uh, to well, tell us about this little care package that we received from our friends over at Spec. Now, Melanie, exactly what am I looking at here? So right now you're looking at actually all Apple-centric, well, not the whole line, but um, a large line of what they carry over at Spec. So um, SPEC produces basically um, at this point, at this stage, um, coverings to, for their uh, MacBook, MacBook Pro, now the MacBook Air. And if you can see here at these small packages, um, all the iPod Touch, iPhone, um, iPod Classic, as well as the Nano uh, coverings for that complete line. Now, I, I, they don't just make stuff for Apple, do they? I mean, they make... No, not at all. Actually, this is um, a large part of it, but they also do cell phones, black, like the BlackBerry. Um, they do also the Sansa MP3 players that SanDisk uh, Sansa, produces. Okay. I, that I could use. I actually have a couple of Sansas. Right, right. right. So they don't just do Apple products. Um, they, they carry a plethora of, of different coverings for you know all different companies. Okay. So just looking around at the various pieces of equipment that we've got on the table, and again, you say that this isn't their entire line. In fact, I've right. seen the box that has their entire line, yeah. in, and it's like four times larger yeah. than in this. In fact, I actually have to say thank you very much to Rusty and Jared. They gave me a very um, thorough tour of the uh, uh, corporate office in Palo Alto, as well as gave me a little bit of insight to some of the things that they're going to produce in probably a couple of months. Can you talk about that, or is that NDA? Uh, you know, it was under NDA, but okay. I would imagine they're probably, since it's been a couple months since I went there, they're probably almost done. I, I, they probably won't mind if I said that they were looking into designing and producing um, handbags, Ooh, laptop okay. bags, um, other things to, to protect your investment. Okay. Now, I've, I've noticed that it's not just one style here. Like, for example, they've got this one for, I believe it's what, the iPhone or iPod Touch. And then they've got this other one from the iPod Touch. Now, this is sort of a black plastic, and this is sort of a, well, yeah, cool, too, funky you know, colored. Funky. And then they've yeah. got leather. Right. And, so, and these, these weird clear cases. What, what are they trying to go with here? I mean, why do they have so many different types for the same model? So they realize for a couple of Uber geeks, like, you and somewhat me on the other side of that spectrum is fashion sense. No fashion sense. So they want to just make sure that Thanks. they cover oh, everybody. Okay. That they cover everybody. Nice. So there, you know, some some women or men might really like the feel of leather. Um, so they've got a couple of products that have leather on it. And then there some some people want um, a more <laughs> um, a sturdy feel or durable feel, which would be. Uh, the uh, the, uh, skin okay. thing, the yeah. ar um, armor skin. Yeah, yeah. This see, this is me. This I I like something. If if I'm gonna put a protective covering on right. something that's actually kind of beautiful, right. I I want to make sure it, it could survive getting run over. I mean, this this is this armor skin here. We're we're gonna do a little close up. This is what you would use if uh, like you wanted your iPhone to match a Hummer. Right. And actually, um, from what I understand, and I could be, you know, a little off on this one, but when they first came out with this one, they actually had it so that was camouflage colored um, in a more uh, a sturdy metal feel. So that was kind of their, 
their limited version, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I don't know really if they um, mass produced it or if it w really was just for you know some special investors or whatnot. But mm -hmm. they they showed that to me, and it was almost like a grenade. What about uh, using these things with like the touch screens on the iPhone and the iPod Touch? Uh, mm -hmm. Does that does that work? Or because I know some of these have like a, this little membrane, like the Armor has a membrane over the screen, that that let you keep full functionality? Well, actually, on this one, it doesn't actually have that, that film. And to be honest with you, I think all of these are just um, but for the demo sake. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, they, they're supposed to remain open, at least for the iPod Touch and the iPhone, because, you know, that, that does definitely have to be um, sensed with the finger. So um, on these products, I don't believe they actually have that film. Um, now, with the covers, the, the MacBook and the mm. MacBook Pros, 15 and 17, and the MacBook Airs, they don't actually have that part of it on, on the keyboard or on the screen itself. So, right. Well, let's go to these covers because, I mean, I don't have a MacBook and um, I probably wouldn't have a MacBook unless it got <laughs> given to me. It just wasn't my thing. But <laughs> these actually look pretty sexy. I mean, I'm, I'm a Dell sort of brown box, white box, black <laughs> box type thing. But uh, these are incredibly well made. I mean, uh, I, I've actually seen a few of these in the wild. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of my Uber geek friends from from Interop are using spec cases on their MacBooks. Uh, I, I mean, how many different MacBooks do they cover? Uh, they actually, they cover the whole line. So if you're talking um, MacBook, which is like a 13.3 inch, um, the MacBook Pro, which is a 15 and the 17 inch, and the MacBook Air, they cover all of them. Um, they've got, uh, I don't know, 20 million different colors for them. I mean, when <laughs> I went there, they literally had them spread everywhere. And they were still playing with color combinations and, and different materials that mm -hmm. were actually kind of velvety. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what they were coming out with the, for the MacBook Air. Now, these ones, I have to say, I met um, the design team, and they assured me that they have tested these products over and over again with every single grommet and opening that you see for, say, the USB port um, and just um, for the, the little um, the lock like, yeah, the, the to open lid it. switch. I'm, everything is, uh, is sensitive to the touch, so to speak, so that when you open and close it or if you have to you know, um, actually take the covering off, everything is, is really easy to use. So, um, yeah, they're very sexy. They've got a little speck um, yeah. emblem on the, on the so, front. So, so it'll it's replace like, the apple. Yeah. It'll replace the apple with the speck. I actually like that <laughs> That's cool. much better. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I have to say they're, they're well built. Um, they click in, they click out. They're, it's so very easy to use. And um, I, I would definitely recommend spec products, especially for the, for the apple, um, uh, the whole apple line. Um, without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, well, that is nice. I mean, that is one thing that is kind of cool about having a MacBook, which is because they have that sort of similarity across most of their lines. Mm -hmm. You can actually design these kind of. They're not, you know, they're not just stickers. They're not just skins. They're they're full off shells right. that will protect your investment. You know, I I've got a lot of Mac friends who they whine every time they find a new scratch on their on their MacBook. I'm just kind of right. used to that now. I mean, <laughs> I'm, my my laptops have so many scratches. The whiners or the scratchers? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. clears throat> all right, all right. Uh, I mean, what else did you see down there? I mean, that, from what you've told me, these are really cool guys. Uh, you know, they are. I, you know, I emailed um, Rusty over at um, Spec Products, and he was very welcoming, said, you know, I believe in viral videos. Come down, check out what we're doing, what we currently have, and what we're planning to do. Um, I met with Jared also, who was nice enough to spend some time with me in explaining um, what you know, what they're dreaming of, and what they're drumming up um, from the design team. So I actually spent some time with the design team, and they were kind enough um, to answer all my questions. I mean, it probably took a good hour or two out of their day just to show me all this. And so, you know, just just because of that courtesy, I think it shows a lot of how proud they are about their product and and how well it's doing in the industry. All right. Okay. Well, you know, if you want to find out more about the spec products, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. While you're there, go ahead and click on the gadget tab, and you'll be able to find links to all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net, and uh, we'll try to answer your emails as soon as we can. We're, we're kind of backed up right now. I'm, I'm running a little slow. I'm, I'm on Hawaii time. Which is sort of like, or, or if yeah, you'd like, whatever. and you've got some questions about the spec products itself, you can always email me. That's Melanie M E L A N I E at 
thetechstop.net. Right. And also, be sure to drop by thetechstop.net so you can see her write-ups on some of these spec products. You actually get to see some uh, some very cool pictures and, and get her impressions on how these products work. I mean, she actually gets to use them because she has Apple products. She has iPods and she has friends with MacBooks. I can just look at them and say they're very pretty and shiny and smooth. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs> Should I do that again? There's no U Uber, Geek. Uber Geek without, without you. you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>